All right, how's it going YouTube? Taco Stacks here, back with another vlog. Today is mail day. Uh, thank you to everyone who sent mail. This is the mail from April, April through probably like the first week in May. Uh, as, as you guys can see, there's a lot of these thin packages. These are license plates. Right now we're working on a license plate wall. You'll see this whole collection of license plates that have been accumulated all, all through you guys on a wall inside the warehouse where I'll do a lot of videos this coming up summer. If not, you might have seen it in previous uh, videos. So thank you to everyone who sent packages. If you guys were wondering about why there's so many license plates, if you guys are new, that is why. If you guys want to send any packages, the box address will be in the description below. So let's get into this. And uh, thank you once again, everyone who sent packages. First package here is from Melissa in Missouri. Taco Stacks, thank you. We enjoy your channel from Kansas City Metro, Melissa and Marlene. So. Thank you to Melissa and Marlene for the wonderful letter. And we have an awesome license plate here from Missouri. Very, very cool. I'm pretty certain this is my first Missouri plate, especially in this style. So thank you for the license plate. Moving on here, we have a package here from Terry in Kentucky. All right. So yeah, we have a letter on top. Hey Taco, I have an antique shop in Smith Grove, Kentucky. Here are some plates for your wall. Love watching your videos, keep them coming. Thanks, Terry. So, awesome, Terry. I hope your antique shop is doing very well. Oh yeah, these, wow. That is awesome. You guys really like these. These are mint and very unique. All right, so I start off with the first one here. This is Kentucky from 1962 in the white and blue color scheme. Very, very cool. Very interesting. Very clean as well. Awesome. I guess Henderson would be the county, possibly, uh, inside Kentucky that that license plate would reside in. Grr, grr, angry. <laughs> it's cool, uh, it's a nice little like decorative style plate. What do we have here? Liberty Anniversary, this is from the Bicentennial. Yep, Bicentennial, 200 years, 1976. Very, very cool, and this one is awesome. Vintage, vintage, Indiana, vintage Indiana. I believe it's a truck plate, it says truck on the side. Try to show it like that. Very, very cool, so thank you for that, Terry. Awesome license plate, thanks again. So here we have a package from Lindell in Washington. Taco, just found your vlogs, love them. I too go to thrift stores for old records, have over 5,000, wow. And Roseville pottery, but it's way too pricey now. Come to Pennsylvania, it's very cheap around here. Roseville is very popular, it, it seems to be plentiful here. Uh, back to Lara, wanted to add to your license plate collection. Sorry this one is in such bad shape, but the winter in Alaska are brutal on plates. Late hubby was stationed in Alaska before he retired from the Air Force. Keep on vlogging, Diane in Washington. So thank you, Diane. So we have two Alaska plates, I believe. No, we have a Washington from 1963. Very, very cool. And then we have our Alaska plate in the yellow and blue. Very, very cool. Thank you, Diane, for the awesome plates. They'll be going on the wall. Uh, thank you. Moving on here, we have a package here from Joseph in Michigan. Oh, we have a letter right here. Holy cow, we got a whole... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Hey, I enjoy watching all your videos. Always nice to see the treasures you find while you're out there living a dream. I'm sure years from now you'll look back on these days and finally recall them as the good old days. I'm 64 years old and I have some vague memories as a child of seeing large two-wheeled wood carts that the city rented out to men who used to come around the neighborhood to collect scrap and junk. Some of the carts came with a mule to pull them, but most had long wood handles that the men pushed the cart with. They usually had a bushel basket of apples on a cart that they would sell for five cents an apple. Probably why I remember it. So next time you're filling up the Vance Gate Turkey Hill and, 
and worrying about the price of gas. Just remember, it could be worse. Be happy you have the Bansky. I'm enclosing a Michigan license plate for your wall. Last time you had a video about the license plate collection who didn't seem to have a blue Michigan one, so now you do. Pretty certain it's my first blue one, so thank you for that. Also, three things that I'm sure many of your video subscribers have concern about. You need to be careful out there picking up stiff stuff near the traffic. Nobody wants to have a flattened stack of tacos, so watch yourself at all times. About one, 10 people driving are under an influence of something. Another bunch are distracted texting or talking on the phone, and just about all are speeding. You gotta be careful. You gotta upgrade your diet a little. Man does not live on tacos and energy drink drinks alone. We don't see any girlfriend skis in the videos. What's up with that? Uh, I can't help with you with much on number one, but I'll challenge you on items number challenge you on items number two and number three. Here goes one of the secrets of life is most young ladies also do not know how to cook, <laughs> so they're basically starving for a decent meal. You can use that to your advantage. On next page, I'll list out a simple, cheap, and quality meal you can make for around ten dollars. If you show a young lady, if you, <laughs> I'll send you ten dollars to pay you back for the cost of it. Also, as a bonus, if you show a young lady in video eating the meal with you, I'll then buy you one of the Taco Stack t-shirts. You up for the challenge? <laughs> and a bunch of other good stuff. So there's a whole list here uh, of how to make a roast chicken dinner. I'll, I'll have to keep you in mind with that and, and try to get the, the challenge accomplished. So <laughs> and make sure to stay tuned for that, Joe. And here we have the Michigan license plate in blue and white. Very, very cool, very clean as well. So thank you, Joe, for the license plate, and uh, I'll try to keep you in mind on the, the challenge that lies ahead. Thanks again. Okay, here we have a package from Amy in Minnesota. Taco stands on the Vansky. Check that out. Very, very cool. I don't know if it'll focus. Very, very cool. Taco, Ta, Tyler, Trevor, I figure if we guess enough popular 90s kids' names, we'll eventually get it right, <laughs> get it right, right. Greens from Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes, the Mall of America, and the Mighty Ducks. Favorite movie of all time, Mighty Ducks. I found your videos recently and have been making my way through them all. Thank you for reminding me of all the small things I like. I love my job. You see, I'm a librarian, and while we deal in information rather than glassware, scrap metal, and vintage teas, we're always on treasure hunts, too. As satisfying as to watch you find a cool pirate sign, Librarians feel that we find librarians feel that when we find a book someone has been hunting for from their childhood. Yes, I was thrilled when you took all those goosebumps. I lost sight of the treasure hunt for a while, but seeing you loving it. What you do in the videos has helped me remember my dream job. So here's a plate for you all and a vintage tea. The birds on their shirts are loons, our state bird. Enjoy. Peace, Amy. So thank you, Amy, for the awesome shirt. I believe there's a minor league baseball team that goes by the name of Great Lake Loons. And they have a loon on it. Very, very cool. Is this, and it's my size. Really cool t-shirt and it looks brand new. So that's gonna be worn in future videos. And then we have a Minnesota plate here. Very, very cool Minnesota plate. 10,000 lakes. Very, very cool. So thank you for the plate and the awesome t-shirt, Amy. It'll be going on the wall. So here we have a package from Tim in Arkansas. Taco Stacks, just a little something to let you know we think of you, we love your videos and watch them all the time. We scrapped all the time in Louisiana, but there's not much to find here. People aren't allowed to put nothing out on the streets. Hope you have a blessed day. We found these plates scrapping and thought of you, the Cajun Hillbilly Scrappers. So thank you for the awesome plates. We have a Honda plate. I guess this is kind of like a decorative plate that goes in the front. And we have two Arkansas plates. Very, very cool with the diamond on them. Awesome. Thank you, Cajun Scrappers, for the awesome plates. Here we have a package from Tina in Michigan. Don't see a letter unless it's in here somewhere. Find a hard thing to a letter with all. Oh, there it is. Found the letter. Hi, Taka. I hope you can use these. Not sure where I even got them, but at least they aren't going to the landfill. Take care. I enjoy your channel. I am in Montana, don't know where the Idaho plate came from either. Enjoy. Tina in Montana, but moving to Indiana soon. So thank you, Tina, for all these awesome license plates. We have a bunch here. Uh, we have this Big Sky Country Montana. It looks to be a set. So we have two here. We have Big Sky Montana plate as well. Very, very cool. 
and a couple other ones. I don't know if these all go, no, this one goes with this one. Very, very cool. That's another set. I think I did that right. We have a permanent Montana plate. It says permanent on the bottom. Very, very cool, Tina. And an Idaho plate, which I know I definitely don't have famous for their potatoes. <laughs> so thank you, Tina, for all the awesome license plates. Uh, they will be going on the wall. Very, 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 very cool and a nice collection. So thank you so much for that. Package from someone. That I do not know. Georgia. Got a Georgia plate. Hey Taco, thanks for the inspiration. Keep up the great videos. Love them all. Rick. I assume Rick might be from Georgia. Awesome. You have the awesome Peach State logo. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Rick, for the awesome Georgia plate. It will be going on the wall. We have a package from Pearl City, Hawaii. Aloha, Taco Stacks. I'm a subscriber and thoroughly enjoy watching your videos. You are such an upstanding, hardworking young man. You deserve every good thing that comes your way. I wish you only joy and prosperity in your life. There are so many unproductive, lazy people in the world. You are certainly not one of them. Well, thank you for the kind words. Here's a small contribution for your license plate wall. The two older ones had the dates on the back. They were active. The one with the rainbow is the current design. The man we got them from was so knowledgeable about license plates and enjoyed sharing. It was a joy learning from them. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have never stopped at his swap beat stall. See how one person's life touches another? Anyways, I hope you enjoy the plates. They are not in pristine condition and one had a weird smell even though I've washed them. But I hope you deem at least one of them worthy of going on the wall. Keep doing what you do. Peace. You're great at. Take care and peace. Lisa Brown from Hawaii. So thank you, Lisa. Uh, very, very cool. You have a couple cool. Oh, yeah. So here's the one with the rainbow. Very, very cool. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I've never seen this Hawaii plate. And then, I can see what you mean by the smell. It still, it still smells like, I don't know what you smell like. It's, it smells like, I don't know, but those still smell. It's kind of funny. Uh, and then we have a green license plate, Aloha State, Hawaii. So thank you, Lisa, for all the awesome license plates. None of these I've had yet. Uh, I don't know what that odor is. I don't know why it would smell like that. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Or thank you so much, Lee. Thank you so much, Lisa, for all the awesome license plates. We have a letter from Donald in Texas. Hi, Taco Stacks. Do you still have the little iron lamp you found last week? I'd like to buy it. I included a safe, so you wouldn't have to lose out on a stamp. So this is a returned letter. Um, I don't still have that, that lamp. I'm pretty certain. Uh, I don't know where I put it. I did not scrap it, but I'm pretty certain I don't have that lamp. Um, where did I put it? No, I did not scrap it. It might be in the warehouse. I'll have to check and get back with you. If not, I'll just write you a letter. Um, but I'm pretty certain, I have no idea where it is. Um, I'll have to check and I'll get back to you on that one. Mary in Piano, Texas. Dear Taco, just a little grandma from Texas who loves watching your Trash Day videos. I am writing after watching your March fan mail unboxing. The Kit Kat candy from England is made by the Nestle company in the U.S., which is made by your neighbor, Hershey. My son is the grand manager for it in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Peace, Mary from Texas. So that's awesome. Uh, it's cool that we have another taco stack or family member that lives close by. Uh, and that's awesome. So thank you for the letter, Mary. Here we have a package from Deadfoot in Winter Haven, Florida. So, <laughs> what is this, man? Oh, this is awesome. What, what are you sending me? This is, uh... Hey, Taco, thought you can use this on your garbage pick and runs. It's a belt patch for your side cutters. That way your cutters will be on your hip and ready to use instead of running back to the van when you need them. Thanks for the quality of videos you constantly put out in Deadfoot. So this is awesome. So this is a belt little little holder you put your uh, your cutters or your scissors in there uh very very cool i don't wear belts that often but i guess now i will wear a belt when i go garbage picking because this will slide right on there and i'll just keep it in there and i want to run back to the van so you are dead on with that dead foot uh thank you for that this is going to be very helpful in the future i just gotta remember to wear a belt uh so thank you for the awesome package and the awesome item it's always great to get mail from you thanks again here we have a package from Patricia and Snow in San Francisco, California. 
don't think we have a letter in here, but very, very cool. We have a US Open Chase Private Client hat for days to go. I guess this is tennis. Yeah, I was gonna say it was golf. I guess it's tennis. The floppy hat. These are now called dad hats. If you guys are curious about current trends, they call these dad hats. Very, very trendy now. We have a Super Bowl Champions New England Patriots hat. Looks brand new. Put this on. Fits pretty good. Very, very cool. And then we have a University of South Florida. Another, this is made by Nike. So very, very cool. Thank you so much. Let's see if this one fits as well. Oh, there we go. She's on. I gotta adjust that a little bit. But awesome. Thank you so much, Patricia, for the awesome hats. I know she's been contacting me about them. Uh, thank you so much. Awesome, awesome hats. I can't thank you enough. You'll probably be seeing this one in future videos as well as maybe if I go golfing, I'll wear a tennis hat because I'm just that guy. Um, and maybe you'll see a, a small golfing portion in a future video. So thank you for the awesome hats, Patricia. Okay, we have a package here from Rhonda in Kansas. Is there a letter? Oh. Can't forget the letter. Dear Taco Snacks, just thought I would send you these old license plates I had laying around. I've been watching your videos and I'm glad there's another fellow scrapper in the world. My family has always been repurposing many things. I myself am building a pen out of old pallet wood. I just hope I can do it. Lol. <laughs> Anyways, hope you don't already have these license plates from Kansas. Thanks for all your awesome videos. Your friend Rhonda M from Kansas. So yes, you can probably do it. I think uh, pallet wood, a lot of people do repurposing with pallet wood and it's very, very easy. You just need to kind of cut it straight. Um, and obviously don't try to get any splinters because that will not be any fun. So let's check out these awesome plates. Are they from Kansas? They are. So we have an awesome Kansas plate here in the blue. It's kind of like a Columbia blue. Very, very cool. And another Kansas plate. Wow. I definitely know I don't have this one. Kansas with, I guess that'd be wheat. It's kind of like an orange plate. Very, very cool as well. Definitely know I, I don't have this plate. Wow. Very, very cool. Awesome plates. They will be going on the wall. They will be going on the wall. Thanks, Rhonda. Here we are, package from Chet in Bruton, Alabama. From Chet. Taco Stacks, I'm a big fan and subscriber of your YouTube channel. Your videos are awesome. I realize that you're collecting plates for your wall. Please find and close a few Alabama plates with some of the designs from recent years. Take care and keep the great videos coming. Your South Alabama viewer, Chet, from Bruton, Alabama. So thank you, Chet. We have this awesome Alabama plate here. These are really, really cool. Nice collection. Thank you so much for this. This one's with the stars. Very, very cool. I actually went to a tailgate in Richmond, Virginia for NASCAR, and I remember somebody else had the same exact plate. So whenever I see this plate, I always think about that uh, for some reason. Uh, we were tailgating with someone and they had that same exact plate, and we are like, oh, you're from Alabama? This is very cool, I haven't seen this one yet. Very, very cool with the American flag on it. Awesome plate. You did a very good job of packing these as well, I gotta say. And all these seem to be very, very mint. We have Alabama, it looks like a lake or something of it. Awesome, really, really cool. Nice decorative style. And lastly, Sweet Home Alabama. Awesome, awesome plate. So thank you, Chet, for all the awesome plates. These will definitely be going on the wall. Very, very cool. Um, I'm very shocked that a lot of these pla places and states seem to have different style plates over the past couple of years. I know in Pennsylvania, it seems to be like they've used the same one forever. Uh, but thank you so much, Chet, for all the awesome plates, and uh, thank you for all the kind words. All right, last package here. It's kind of... We got something wrapped in here. Got something wrapped in here. I don't know if there's... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, I see a letter. Hi, Taco Stacks. Thank you, sir, for all your fun to watch garbage picking, auction, flea market videos. As a small token of my appreciation, I'm sending you some vintage old school Pyrex restaurant wear coffee mugs for you to keep or sell up to you. Also included is a vintage license plate. I hope you'll enjoy it very much. I'm sure it'll be displayed proudly on your wall. License plate 
Keep up the great work and looking forward to many of your awesome videos. Have a great afternoon. Mr. B, so thank you for that. We got, you did a great job packing this stuff. I've never shipped Pyrex, I've never shipped glassware like this because I'm always worried about it, but yep, here's some restaurant wear. I don't know if this is in black or green. So restaurant wear often has a lot of these stripes on it, on that top. Very, very cool, old milk glass style. Kind of hard to find because it's not available to the public. We have another one. And another one. I believe these all probably have the same marking on the bottom. No, this one says Pyrex. So you have one that says Pyrex on the bottom. Don't know if that, that probably won't show up. So that is awesome. We have a plate here. And we have a couple more, a couple more coffee mugs. So that's awesome. Thank you, Mr. B, for all these awesome coffee mugs. Very, very cool. Nice restaurant where you did a great job packing that as well. I will say that you did an awesome job packing that. We have a license plate here. That's awesome. Oklahoma Farm Truck in yellow. Probably been through some dirt, that's for sure. So thank you, Mr. B, for all these awesome, awesome coffee cups and awesome license plate that will definitely be going on the wall. All right, so that's going to kind of wrap it up here for mail time. Thank you to everyone who sent awesome, awesome gifts as well. The license plates, the coffee mugs, the hats, t-shirts, everything. Thank you so much for all the wonderful support. I can't thank you guys enough. This channel continues to grow every day, and it's because of you guys. I'm hoping to kind of get more to the license plate wall within the next week or two weeks. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, at taco underscore stacks, you will see that I constantly post random things to my story. Sometimes I'll include some sort of pictures of updates of how the license plate wall is going. So make sure to follow me over on Instagram if you guys haven't already. If you guys are curious and want to send any sort of package in terms of license plates, if you want to be part of the wall, if you want to send me a t-shirt, if you want to just send me a letter, anything you guys might want to possibly send to me, in the description below will be my address. It's Taco Stacks PO Box 184, Stockertown, Pennsylvania 18083. Full address will be in the description below, so all you have to do is just copy and paste if you guys want to send anything. I can't thank you guys enough for all the awesome support, and uh, it's been amazing. Thank you so much. License plate wall is coming along, and uh, until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream.